Y yo me quiero hacer un, un tatuaje, fíjate. Así como tus letras que digan RGB. RGB. here the 2021 SVR this was wrapped at the other shop and it was brought here detailed ready to go the customers coming actually this is a professional tennis player his name is Marty Fish so he's a big fan of us we did satin black we left the top shiny it matches the carbon accents as well the inside's full of carbon the outside's full of carbon the, the hood is carbon the front bumper grill vents are carbon there's a bunch of carbon on this thing we left the carbon exposed with the mirrors so we did satin black shiny black and a bunch of carbon fiber these wheels already came in black the red calibers were already there so we left everything he's going to be very happy he's on the way to pick it up and we'll see his reaction soon so this car is filled with carbon inside is all carbon there's carbon on the dash there's carbon on the door panels as you can see it says carbon right here so this is a very special car. He paid $145,000 for this car. He loves it. I think it's his first Range Rover. He has a lot of toys that he's gonna bring to us. So the customer needed this car very, very fast. He hasn't seen the car yet. He bought it from the dealer. So that's why we didn't do the jams because he wants the car quick. He's very busy. He's a professional tennis player, so he doesn't have any time to wait. And he's very excited for the car. And that's why we didn't do the jams. And yeah, so uh, let's see his reaction. Thank you, RDB LA. This thing is sick, man. Mono right here, it's get, get you set up. Look at this bad boy. All right, guys, we're standing in front of that Audi R8 project. We showed you guys this, I think, like two episodes ago. We received the full prior design body kit. This is a full wide body kit. Tons of parts. Literally, every panel gets replaced except the doors and the roof. So as you can see, it's a little bit dusty. And this is the primer on the body kit. We're still like 90% there with the test fitting. We have a little bit more to go before we get into paint prep. But here's the hood on the car. Here's the front bumper on the car. The grill is not fitting properly because it's touching something on the back. We're gonna have to modify that. So the grill sits in there better. This car, like I said before, the hood is the fender. So that kind of alleviates a little bit of the fender work for us right there. But it does have this little piece right here that's like a tiny little fender with little grooves in them. That looks really nice. The side skirts on there. These side blades were kind of a pain right there. The factory side blades come off and we put these on there. Obviously they're wider. The quarter panel is obviously there too. This is actually another piece of the quarter panel as well. So one, two, three right there. And all this has to be really, really perfect for it to line up. We cut up all these sections right here so we can make it fit because it was touching each other. So all this is already lined up. The rear bumper's on there too. We don't have the wing on there yet. We're not using the regular Pride Design kit. We're using an APR wing, which is like a bigger wing. And these are actually not the wheels we're using as well. We're using custom wheels we're making for this car, a special project. So super excited about that. We haven't removed the door wrap yet. Underneath it's white. Reminder, this is all gonna be painted white with a little bit of black accents all over it. So. We're really excited about it. It is an older 2012 Audi R8, but honestly, this thing is gonna look really cool. You guys could already see what it's turning out to be. And we're super excited to finish this project. Maybach 2021 right here. This is another one. This is a nice colorway. It's white and black. We installed the Maybach front emblem. A lot of people get the plastic ones. We got the metal one, the metal ones on the front. We also got the OEM quarter panel light up Maybach for the trunk. As you saw, we were the first in the world to do that. We were able to wire it up and whenever the lights are on the car, those are on. We also painted the front reflectors body color white. We also installed an OEM S-Class rear trunk spoiler. So we did all of that, plus tints, of course, medium tints all around. And that's it on this car. 
car. We had it for about a day or two and we did all of this work. We wanted to actually make these work. These are also light up, but they only light up when you lock and unlock the cars, when you open the door. Uh, let me even see if it does that. I don't even know when it does it, to be honest. We're gonna be, we tried to actually find the wires for this. It's very, very fragile. We tried to look for it from the back. We couldn't find it. I think you gotta remove the whole seat and everything to get to it. So this might be a phase two later on for all these new Maybach owners. They all want this to light up, but unfortunately it doesn't light up very easily. So yeah, other than that bone stock, really awesome colorway, the black, there's obsidian black, so it's all metallic, metallic white. And then these wheels, obviously these wheels are badass, as you can see. So really, really great combination. Trunk spoiler, don't judge it, it has to be washed. We haven't washed it, we're closing up for today. We're gonna wash it tomorrow. But yeah, there you have it, another Maybach done in a classy and easy way. All right, guys, I would like to present you to this crazy C8 Corvette wide body project. You guys saw us working on this a few months ago, actually. This kit was pretty much kind of a prototype kit and we had to do a lot of work to make it work, basically. Nothing fit exactly to where we want it to fit. The material is very hard to work with. The material was bubbling up, all kinds of problems with it, unfortunately. So a lot of work went into that. This is the factory severing orange color. So we repainted the whole car to the factory color. It's a beautiful color. Honestly, it's got a nice tan interior too. Kind of has like a Ferrari vibe to it, of course. A lot of gloss black accents. This kit does not come carbon fiber, so we had to gloss black accent the whole entire kit. So, you know, you got some hood levers, you got some big old front scoops right there. You got the fender levers right there, side skirts, the rolled rear diffuser, all kinds of stuff, really. So this is, yeah, this is obnoxiously wide, so wide. We had to cut a lot of stuff in the front to make it work. We're still having a little bit of rubbing here and there. So we're going to go back and actually cut up a little bit more. The car is sitting a little bit higher than we'd like as well, because springs have been on back order for this car for over three months. We have not been able to get the springs for it. So this is on the factory height. We actually did get these little perches that go on the front. This has the front hydraulic lift. So you're able to get these little things that make it go a little bit lower. And the back, we adjusted it on the factory coilovers a little bit. So it's maxed out actually, this is maxed out lower. So obviously when we lower more, it's gonna look even better. So that and a full blown detail is necessary. So we gotta still do a detail and we still gotta lower it. This thing slammed would be outrageously insane. We might even do an air suspension, we'll see. Because this thing slammed, it would look so aggressive. It looks like a total GT car on the street and it is the new c8 corvette it's also convertible so the top goes down really really crazy car honestly anybody that sees it goes nuts it does have these crazy rdb signature gold wheels on it 20 21 inch configuration this is as big as you can go on this car we did a crazy lip on both of them obviously the orange and gold is going to be very subjective this owner also has that blue white body ferrari with the rolls gold wheels so he likes these crazy colorways on these wheels so there you have it crazy c8 corvette right here a lot of labor went into this thing, a lot of hard work. A lot of shops would not take on this project because it is very difficult to do all this fabrication on it. So yeah, crazy right there. All right guys, one also feature we did, I mean, look at that back end, that diffuser is all added on, looks ridiculous. IP sent us this amazing exhaust system, carbon fiber tips. It also has sport cats too. So uh, no emission problem there. It sounds really amazing and it has valves too. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Yes. Why do you have a door now? I'm gonna remove it tomorrow, that's it.